Okay, we're back and we are going to have wear your mask butternut squash soup. This is really, you notice how I do that kind of with the southern accent? Wear your mask butternut squash soup. I like it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I have everything kind of prepared. Um, here's the squash. You cut it into little pieces like half an inch, quarter inch, because then it'll cook through. You don't want any chunks in there. There's going to be salt, uh, salt, that's in there too. Onions, garlic, garlic should be minced, but my mincer is broken. So I mushed it. There's a, you know, you dice it really tiny and then mush it a little bit, but it, it's good. Um, this is going to be three things. This is kosher salt, nutmeg, which is the magical, magical ingredient. When I make pumpkin soup, um, every year in October, my kids love it. They all come over because I put into this beautiful copper pot, I put in pumpkin soup and it also has nutmeg. So there's a really similar taste. Um, this is butternut squash. This has salt, kosher of course, right? And white pepper and nutmeg. Then I'm going to add some heavy cream and that gives you that creamy texture to it. And at the very end, we're going to top it when you serve it with pepitas. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to toss it all in the pot. So I'm going to take the butter, a stick of butter, right here. And the pan's a little bit warm. And I'm going to, ouch, that's really hot. That means since I burned myself, I have another chip. Okay, go. So I'm getting in there, into the pot, melting the butter. Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the garlic and the onion and I'm gonna slide it all in there. Okay. This is really nice this way. Yep, I'm gonna throw some things around. Okay. So mainly what you wanna do is you wanna get the butter melt it down and you want all the onions to be translucent see-through so as soon as that's done let's take a couple minutes okay and squash i'm going to put all this squash in and if i can do this so you can see how pretty that is when you put all that color in and the onions are blended and the butter and you let that cook for about 10 minutes just to get that flavor into it. What's hard is cutting up a butternut squash is a killer. You know, you've gotta be careful. Um, there are different ways to do it. My daughter Molly told me that I can put a towel underneath and you know, when you get it started, <laughs> this sounds awful, and you bang on it, it kind of cuts through because you can't saw through something that's that thick. Um, at least I can't. So you kind of cut through it, get it going, and then chop it into those little pieces. But you work up a sweat doing it. Um, all right, so once everything's soft, we're gonna cut to about 10 minutes ahead. So here we are. This is all nice and tender. Nothing's burned, you can see you know, uh, if you put a fork into them, they're still, you know, there's a little give to it. A little give. It's like potatoes. So you want to have them so you can put the fork into it. Now, the next thing you're going to do is take your 32 ounces of chicken broth. Um, I got the box kind because 32 ounces, it comes in this size. Pour all this in. Glug, glug, glug. Now, there's another way to go. If you want, you can make it from scratch, your own chicken broth. But I'm really too lazy to do that. So, and this is really just as good, and it's not like somebody's gonna sit at your dinner table and say, oh, I can tell she used a box of chicken broth. Okay, and this is gonna be the nutmeg and the salt, the, the kosher salt and the white pepper. And I'm gonna put that, put that in. Now, all we're gonna do next, we're gonna stir all this in, and I'm gonna crank it up here to high, just to get it boiling. 
And once it boils, I'm going to turn it down to simmer for 25 minutes and put the lid on. Put the lid on it. Maybe had some more potato chips. This is really down home cooking. <laughs> um, oh, while I'm killing time, I will tell you that um, I have a theory about masks and what the coming trend is going to be. And maybe I'm behind the times already. But as we're all wearing masks, oops, yeah, like this one. Um, when you wear a mask, what happens? All you see, all you see are your eyes. So I'm predicting um, that there's gonna be a lot more eye makeup this year, a lot more black eyes. And I'll tell you a story that my stepfather, when I was a kid, when I went out of the house, when you know, I was in junior high, and anytime girls wore too much makeup, he said it looked like two piss holes in the snow because um, your eyes would be so black. So um, definitely don't go out looking like you have two piss holes in the snow. You want to have beautiful eyes. But yeah, you know, a little more makeup probably would help. Just don't go crazy. That's a mommy's point of view. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on this. Um, it's about to boil. And as soon as it does, keep checking it every few minutes, but keep it down to a nice low simmer for like half an hour or so. And then um, I'll bring you back and we'll do a little blending and make it creamy. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now it's finished. It's cooked for 25 minutes. We're going to take the top off. And it's, I will show you a little. It's just nice. It looks like a nice regular old soup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this milk in. Now, everything on a soup on something like this is, you know, you can, it's however you taste to your own taste, right? So salt, if next time you think, oh, there's too much nutmeg, too much salt, too much pepper, you know, mess with it. I'm a big believer in you don't have to stick exactly to recipes unless you find one and you lock it in. Um, okay, so I'm going to put in some of this cream. It's like a half to a whole cup. And uh, once you do that, you don't want to bring it to a boil again. Okay, I'm going to do this a nice heavy cream. And then I'm going to take this blender. This is like a soup blender. And you could use, if you don't have anything, I suppose you could use a regular blender, but these are nice and it's got a special little whipper. And um, it's just very easy to take it in here and you want to get it all smooth. And up and down, you're gonna get all those things squishy. And it'll, it'll puree the onions and squash. I always worry. I always worry that there's too much, uh, too much broth, and, or, and not enough squash in it. Well, you'll see. If you like it thicker next time, add more squash. Okay, I think I can tell already. It's going to be thinner than I like. I won't change the taste because that'll be delicious. But this now. Yeah, it's a little, it's still kind of, it's thick. Can you see inside here? Um, it's, it has a nice thickness to it. And usually by the time you put it in the refrigerator and you have it the next day, which is even better, it'll thicken up again. But um, here's what you do. You're gonna ladle it into bowls. And here's what they suggested. They suggested pita seeds to put on that you toast, you buy raw pita, um, the pita seeds and I today with that pandemic my shopper brought me pumpkin seeds now pita seeds are pumpkin seeds but they're very different they're a specific kind of pumpkin so these aren't gonna work um, could you put pumpkin seeds on sure you probably could but I would go out and get raw pepitas did I say pita pepita pepita go out and get pepita seeds raw put them on a cookie sheet put some butter on it. You could do butter, you can do um, garlic, salt, you could almost do anything on them. Brown them and then use them in a little dish after, put them on a paper towel, then sprinkle them on your soup. You know, have a few of them to serve, just a serving idea. 
And that's it. That's pretty much it. Pepita. I can't believe I said pita. Well, you could chop up a pita bread and make it really tiny and do that. Okay, so here we go with wear your mask, or better yet, wear your damn mask, butternut squash soup. And here I'm going to ladle a little bit into a bowl. This is for just tasting for my two gentlemen outside. I'm going to give them. Then here's what I suggest is taking a little bit of cream, that, that heavy cream you have. Just do a little bit of, like that. If you were doing it at a coffee place, however they do it, I'm not sure how they do it. That's really globby. Yeah, well, something like that. Don't you love it when your cook that's teaching you your chef is very vague and it's like an experiment? Okay, here we go. This is John Kraus of Broadway. <gasps> Dog. John Kraus of Broadway fame, uh, Hades oh, Town, you. and John McCook of The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is Wear soup? Your Mask, Wear Your Damn Mask, Butternut Squash okay. Soup. Hey, Dad, weren't you wearing that shirt last time? Uh, yeah, I was. Continuity. I was. <laughs> Wait, how do you wear the mask in the... Oh, oh, oh yeah, I don't have my mask for this. I've been spending too much time with John. Yeah, uh, indeed, yes. Hey. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Yeah, it's got it's a, really nice. It's got That's a little. That's the color. I thought it was it's all. Really all nice. I thought it would be all spicy and stuff, but it's not. It's very mellow. It's, it's very nice. nice. It's you, a mild. It's got, no, it's got the, the right amount of kick. Does it? I think it's the white pepper and the uh, nutmeg. Mm -hmm. Nutmeg. Yeah. <laughs> what? I no. Don't don't even. He's got a nut allergy. <laughs> <laughs> a nutmeg allergy. Oh, good. Yeah, it's good, honey. Get it. Great. But I, I actually, it's it's more, it's, um what's the word? It's hearty. It feels like a hearty soup, even though it's all liquid. There's, yeah, you know, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of an autumnal. Hearty is a pirate word, isn't it? It hearty. should be hearty. thicker. Hearty, hearty, hearty. Yeah, God. Let's get all right. away from here. Anyway, you heard it here. John McCook, John Krause, it's a thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs>